What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now, apologies, this is going to be another shorter one just because I've been so busy this week with lab research and classes and stuff, but I wasn't going to leave you guys hanging. When I say daily, I mean daily for the most part, so I'm going to talk about something that was announced today that is kind of big, actually. Like, it's, it's not going to be a metagame changer, but it's going to be something that from now on, you're going to have to kind of sleep with one eye open if you catch my drift. Uh, but before we get into that, do me a favor, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite Pokemon with a sleep move? And you'll see why we're talking about that in a minute here. Also, if you want to support the channel, we're celebrating 20,000 subscribers, there'll be a link to this uh, store down below, I'm selling these sick designs uh, for t-shirts, so as you see, uh, it's just like a fun little arrow here like the boost arrow. I'm going to make it my channel emblem in a minute here. Uh, but they're live until February 27th. As you see, that's an all over print. Uh, we also have hoodies and stuff. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, it's just such a cool little design. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy that. But if you guys want to support the channel, check that out. But yeah, uh, as you can see, Pikachu is celebrating 25 years of Pokemon with a song. Though it can, though it can't ordinarily learn the move Sing, this is a special. Uh, this Pikachu is a special exception. Uh, stay tuned while it practices its melody. We'll provide details here on February 25th on how Pikachu can join you in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So basically, February 25th, I assume, on Pokemon Day, we're gonna get access to this very special Pikachu. Which let me turn that down. Which uh, has the move Sing. Now, Sing is a move that isn't very common in VGC, but it's also not uncommon. We've seen some Pokemon use Sing in the past. If we actually take a look at Clefairy usage, you'll see that Sing is actually one of the moves it uses, and currently it's at 16% usage on Clefairy, just above Ally Switch, so there's like chaotic evil and neutral evil here. Uh, Sing is really interesting. Sing is very interesting. It's actually 55 accuracy. Let me just pull up a Pokemon with Sing here. It's 55 accuracy in normal type, um, but... It's also a sound move, which is actually really cool. I believe it counts as a sound move, so it might be able to bypass Protect. I'm not certain. Uh, don't quote me on that, but uh, those are just some details about the move. The thing is, because it's 55% accuracy, or not Protect, Substitute, but uh, because it's 55% accuracy, uh, it's not the most reliable move in the game. Nonetheless, we have seen Pokemon like Clefairy fitted onto their move set as just a final option, because while 55 isn't good accuracy, that's a 55% chance just to pretty much eliminate a Pokemon as a threat for the foreseeable future. Now, while that wouldn't normally be the biggest thing in the world, you know, uh, the fact of the matter is, Pikachu isn't going to be the only Pokemon that gets this move. Yes, you can run it on Pikachu, but that Pikachu will be able to evolve into a Raichu, a Pokemon that isn't uncommon in the format. As you can see, Raichu is sitting at a solid 29th in usage, it's pretty mid, but uh, it's like really nice next to things like Eveltal, Kyogre, Tornadus. Uh, it's a Lightning Rod Pokemon, has access to Nuzzle, Eerie Impulse, all these fun little support moves as well as a Fake Out. Now, 110 speed is pretty big, it's just one speed lower than Thunderous and Tornadus, so that's like a really high speed tier. If we take a look at all the Pokemon who learn Sing and order them in order of speed, you can see that the fastest is Chinchino currently, with Jinx being the second fastest. Now, Chinchino and Jinx aren't the most common Pokemon, nor are they the most viable. So, by adding Sing onto Raichu's toolkit, it actually makes it very, very scary to face. Because what Pokemon does Raichu outspeed? And I guess, by extension, what Pokemon does Raichu outspeed and have a 55% chance to be put to sleep on any given turn? Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Landorus, <laughs> Kyogre, Tapu Fini not so much, but Tapu Fini doesn't want to come in on the uh, on the Raichu anyways. Indeedy, Amoongus, not Calyrex Shadow, Grimmsnarl. Kartana gets outsped and has the chance to be put to sleep. The list goes on. 110 base speed is such an insane speed tier that it's actually something that you can't just discount. Every single match you go into, Raichu is going to be a threat. So, with that being said, I want to go over some, you know, move sets that you can possibly see and maybe a way you can get around the accuracy issue. Now, this is all going to be theoretical. I feel like if you're going to run Sing Raichu, you're just going to run Sing as an option and you're not going to, like, base a team around your Raichu getting Sing. So, yeah. Uh, first of all, let's cover G-Max Pikachu, the other Pokemon that kind of matters, maybe. I don't know. It's a speed tie with the Primal, so maybe it matters. <laughs> uh, G-Max Pikachu, 
Light Ball, Fake Out, Sing, Thunderbolt, Surf, maybe drop Fake Out for Grass Knot. Moving forward, that's pretty much it. You're just going to run Max Max and it's going to do a lot of damage because Light Ball does give it extremely high special attack. It will turn that base 50 special attack that is 102 into a 204 special attack, making it absurdly high. Pretty much a huge power boost with an item. So yeah, uh, Pikachu scary but now it can put things to sleep. And on G-Max Pikachu especially, this is kind of synergistic because it can Dynamax and it's uh, Max Lightning won't, or not Max Lightning, it's Max Volt Crash won't actually set up Electric Terrain so things won't be immune. Raichu here is going to be the scariest Pokemon. <laughs> it's got Focus Sash, and excuse me, I don't know why my throat's so dry. <clears throat> it's got Focus Sash, Lightning Rod, Fake Out, Sing, Thunderbolt, Nuzzle. Now, the reason I put uh, Nuzzle and Sing on the same moveset is because there isn't going to be like a 100% chance like, oh, I don't want to put something to, you know, I don't want to put something to sleep. I want to, you know, paralyze it right there with speed control. With Sing being such a frustrating move to land, uh, you don't always want to just go for that. Nuzzle having 100% accuracy and, you know, putting something in a state of paralysis, making it so their speed is halved is useful even when you have the option to sing purely because sing isn't 100% accurate and nuzzle is for the most part a permanent thing you won't be able to unparalyze your pokemon while sing will make it so yes the pokemon might be able to wake up so that's pretty much the moveset i could think of maybe if you wanted to be crazy you could run like wild charge and or not wild charge but uh volt tackle and make this a physical set with a jolly nature for the most part raichu stays exactly the same except it's going to be dropping something like eerie impulse for something like Sing. As a matter of fact, if you wanted just like a full support set, you could drop Nuzzle all together and put Eerie Impulse on this thing and just Sing. And now it's just like a super, super supportive Raichu that can both lower special attack and just completely make a Pokemon unusable. So that's something that you could, you know, keep an eye out for. I would imagine that Sing Raichu is gonna be really solid next to Tornadus and Kyogre. So you could do like Tornadus, Raichu, Kyogre, uh, with Raichu being able to absorb Thunders or Max Lightnings for both of those Pokemon, and even double Raichu speed, making so you can land a Sing on something insanely fast like Caloric Shadow. That's something that you can think about there. Uh, I feel like Raichu's gonna be really nice. Uh, but if you want to get around, you know, that low accuracy, there are a couple of options you have. Uh, in terms of making it more accurate. And they aren't the best options, but nonetheless, they are options. So you have a couple of ways of doing this. So you could run Rabombi with Sweet Scent and just, you know, lower their evasion with Sweet Scent. It hits both partners, by the way, and it's two stages. So you're pretty much guaranteed to land a Sing at that point. Uh, there are other Sweet Scent Pokemon. Uh, however, they're, you know, few and far between. And at that, they're pretty unviable. Comfey could be okay. Tapu Lele isn't really the best Pokemon to run Sing on. Uh, maybe like a Chlorophyll Lilligant. Chlorophyll Venusaur, maybe. Like, there are a lot of Pokemon, right? Maybe you could run, like, I don't know, some kind of Electric Seed, not Electric Seed, but some kind of Seed Slurp Puff with Sweet Scent and just put things to sleep. But if you're going to be running Sweet Scent and, you know, Sing, you're, like, lacking offenses there. Like, it's two support Pokemon on the field. What are you going to do? You're going to switch out a Pokemon that, you know, isn't very useful at the time for a more offensive Pokemon. And that offensive Pokemon is going to waste a turn of the opponent being asleep just to get on the field. It's just not very worth it. Um, I would say if you want to try something interesting, you could run G-Max Flapple because it's uh, Max Tartness actually lowers evasion as well, uh, which is actually really cool. I don't know why I'm looking up Tartness. It, you know what Max Tartness does. But at that, uh, Flapple is able to run Hustle and be a Life Orb attacker. And maybe in this format, you might be able to run a Flapple next to a Raichu and have it be somewhat okay. It's not going to be great, but... 110 base attack when you hustle boost it when you dynamax it it could be useful uh, i would say what we're probably going to see the most of is gravity users and while there are a decent amount of gravity users dustclops necrozma uh ferrothorn apparently gigalith there are a lot of gravity users i just forgot existed the fact of the matter is most of them are really slow and you would want to be able to get off of gravity uh, in a situation where you know raichu is moving immediately after the pokemon to make it so you don't have to waste two turns just trying to set it up but I suppose if you wanted to be really crazy, let's say you do this. Necrozma Dustmane. If you can somehow fit gravity onto that moveset, which I don't think you'll be able to, you can like fake out gravity. And then for the next couple of turns, your opponent's threatened by the sing. Because, you know, your Necrozma <laughs> just set up a gravity uh, and that's going to stay in the field for five turns. So they have to be really careful because at any moment, their Pokemon can be put to sleep by a base 110 speed Raichu. I think that's probably what I'm going to go for if I try it out. It does, you know, take a turn to set up, but setting up gravity isn't too hard with Necrozma Duskmane. And at that, you could just run gravity, trick room, 
Sunsteel Strike and probably, I don't know, Max Quake. You could go for, uh, what is it, Stopping Tantrum? What move does it get? I know it gets a ground move, I forget what it is. Earthquake, that's what it was. <laughs> you could do that. Maybe you could run something like that. I don't really know how viable this Raichu is going to be, but it's definitely going to be something that is going to mess with you, make you want to sleep with one eye open. Raichu now has the ability to put things to sleep, which is kind of insane. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today's video. A little bit of a shorter one, more just discussing what Raichu can do in the format and why I think it's pretty scary. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.